All right, so now let's uh, create our contact form and our emailing functionality. So for this, we're gonna use a gem called mail form for our contact form. So let's uh, grab this gem and add it to our gem file. So let's go to Sublime. Well, first off, let's uh, do a git status. All right, we're on a clean directory. Let's do a git checkout dash B. I'll say contact. All right, and let's go to Sublime. Close out of all of these files. All right, so open up the gem file and let's add the mail form right below the will paginate gem. Save that and let's do a bundle install. Okay, and let's uh, restart our server as well. Perfect. So the first thing we need to do is generate a controller for our contact. So let's do rails generate controller and I'll call this the contacts controller. And uh, next we need to create some resources. So let's open up the routes and let's uh, create some resources for our contacts, but we only want the new and uh, create methods. So let's uh, do only new and create. So if we save that, let's do a rake routes just to make sure. All right, so now we have uh, contacts create and contacts new, perfect. So we can get out of these two files. So let's open up the contacts controller. So what we wanna do is do a def new end and a def create end. So let's do at contact equals contact.new. So I'm gonna paste in the um, code for the create method. So what we're gonna do is contact equals contact.new, and we're gonna throw in the params of contact. Then we are gonna do contact.request equals request. And if the contact is able to deliver, uh, we're gonna set the error to nil, and else we're gonna throw up a flash error and say con uh, cannot send message, and then we're gonna re-render the new action. All right, so now we need to create a model. Uh, this is gonna be a bit different from the other models we've created. We're not gonna use a generator. So uh, go to app models and create a new file. And I'm gonna save this as contact.rb. And then I'm gonna add a class of contact and it's going to inherit from mail form uh, base. So instead of it, like the other ones, instead of it inheriting from active record base, we're gonna do mail form base. So I'm gonna throw in some validations. So we're gonna do attribute name, we're gonna validate it's true. Um, attribute email, we're gonna validate um, based on this uh, regex, which you can uh, copy from the GitHub page or just uh, pause the video and copy it yourself if you'd like. Um, then we're gonna validate the message and we're gonna have a hidden field to prevent from spam for the uh, a nickname. So the idea here is we're gonna have a hidden field so uh, regular visitors won't be able to see it, but if a spam bot tries to um, fill out the form, uh, they'll see the nickname field filled in, and then based on that, um, it will get rejected if it's filled in, which would prevent from a lot of spam. So we need to define the headers uh, for our email. So I'm going to do def headers and let's throw in a few options. So let's do uh, subject and the subject line will be a uh, contact form. And then we're going to set the to, oops, and I'm going to send all the emails from my contact form uh, to my email and I'll do, I'll do McKinsey at unicast.com. Uh, let's be sure to add commas after these. And then the last one, we'll set a from. And for the from, let's set it to the name and the email generated from uh, these attributes in the form. So what I'm gonna do is percent open brackets, and then let's add a uh, hashtag curly, and I'll do name, and then I'll do from email
So next thing we need to do is create the views. So uh, we have a views contacts directory. So let's go ahead and create a few files. So under contacts, I'm gonna save one as a uh, create.html.erb and let's save another one as new.html.erb. So the new file is where we're gonna have our form. So just like the other pages, let's have a header, uh, h1 and the class of page title. And I'm gonna say, uh, say hello. So if from here, if I go to um, slash contact, oops, contacts slash new. All right, so we get a um, syntax error. Let's see what's going on. Oh, you know what? Um, I think I forgot to end this. So well, let me clean this up a bit. And I'm going to end this method. There we go. All right, so say hello, that's showing up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the static page, the contact.html, and um, let me chain or copy this and paste that in. So the uh, h1 should actually be an ID of page title, not a class. So let me save that and refresh. There we go. Now let's uh, change this static uh, inputs to the actual form. So inside of here, let's do a uh, form for method, form for uh, at contact, form for contact, do and f, and then let's end this. Then inside of here, we're gonna do a f.label for the name, and let's add a br tag, and another f.text field for the name, and I'm gonna set this as required true. All right, and then let's add a br tag and copy this and do it again. Change this to email, and this is going to be an email field. Then let's do another br tag and do the same for the message, and this will be a text area instead of a text field. Um, and I'm going to do as a uh, text. Then let's uh, create a, a div with the class of hidden for that hidden field. And inside of here, let's copy the top one. Let's paste that in. All right, this is going to be a nickname. And then let's say um, hint. I'm gonna say leave this field blank. And then let's also add a BR. Actually, that's gonna be hidden, so we don't need a BR. Let's add a uh, input. So we'll do f.submit and I'll say send message. And let's add a class of button. All right, now if I remove this stuff, Save and go back and refresh. So we have the nickname field showing up. Uh, to take care of that, let's go into our application.css file. And let's see, below the clear fix, let's add a dot hidden class and I'll say display of none. All right, that way uh, the regular user will not see it and will not fill it in, but if a um, a bot tries to fill in and spam your contact form, uh, it will get rejected. All right, so let's uh, just test this out real quick. I'm just gonna say McKinsey, then McKinsey at unicast.com. Uh, you can see if I leave that blank, uh, there's some validations on this. So if I do McKinsey.com, please include an at symbol. So we'll need to do at unicast.com. So let's uh, send the message. So if we send the message, we go to the contact, um, the create page. So the next thing I wanna do is let's uh, copy what we had here, page title for the create page. And I'm gonna leave it as say hello. And then let's also copy this opening div and close that. 
So inside of here, I want to say H1, let's tab it in. Uh, thank you for your message. And then I'm going to add a P tag and say, uh, I'll get back to you soon. Period. So if I refresh this, all right. So after the form gets submitted, we go to this page uh, with the thank you message, which is perfect. So obviously there is no uh, email functionality set up just yet because we have yet to add that to our application. So to do that, we are going to use SendGrid on Heroku. So if I do uh, SendGrid Heroku add-on, uh, search for that. It brings up this uh, SendGrid add-on. So it's uh, free for up to 400 emails per day. Uh, so unless you're getting a ton of emails, uh, you should be fine with the free. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to commit what I've done. Git s, let's do a git add dot git commit dash am, and I'll say uh, set up contact form. All right. Now from here, what we want to do is add the add-on to our Heroku account. So let's copy that line, Heroku add-ons colon create, and we're going to create the send grid add-on. So what this will do is uh, if I hit enter, so it adds the send grid uh, password and send grid username to our Heroku config variables. And if you go down under the documentation, click on Ruby on rails, we need to set up the action mailer base settings. Uh, we're going to do a bit more than this. So what we want to do is, um, let's see, let's go to our config and environments and production.rb. And what we're going to do is set this up to work in production using SendGrid. So the first line we want to do is do config.actionmailer.default URL options equals, and we're going to set the host, and I'm going to set the host to our Heroku app. So I'm going to copy this and put that in quotes. So HTTPS for mine, it's Pacific dash four slash nine five eight nine dot Heroku app dot com. All right. And below that, we want to set up a uh, config dot action mailer. And I'm going to do delivery method. And I'm going to equal that to SMTP. All right. And then here is where I'm going to add all of this functionality. So let's just copy this and add it below here. So the action mailer base SMTP. So the address we're using the send grid SMTP. Uh, the port is 587. Authentication is plain. This is why Heroku and the Heroku add-on is awesome because it creates a config environments variable. And since we are using this in production, it will look for that config and we never have to add the username or password into Git. So nobody else will ever see the username or the password. And then the domain is heroku.com. And I believe this is all we need. So let's uh, do a Git or let's, yeah, commit what we've done and push up and test out that it all works. So let's go back to here. All right, I'm going to do git status, git commit dash am. Let's say added uh, send grid, add send grid production configurations. All right, now git status. All right, we're in a clean directory. Let's uh, check out master and merge the contact stuff into master. Now let's do git push. All right, and for the moment of truth, let's do git push Heroku master. Okay, so if we review what we've done, uh, since we are doing uh, contact.deliver, it's going to deliver the message and in the uh, production.rb, since we set up the uh, action mailer uh, configurations and we set up the send grid action mailer SMTP uh, settings. It should uh, send grid should send the email uh, using this configuration with the subject of contact form should send to McKinsey at unicast.com and should uh, 
be from the name um, when they enter it and the email. So let's uh, go to Heroku and refresh this and let's go to the contact page. Contact slash new. I'm sorry, let's do contact slash new. All right, so for the moment of truth, let's test it out. I'm going to say McKinsey. I'll do uh, my personal email, hey at mckinseychild.me. And I will say, um, I really hope this works. All right, let's send the message. We should go to the thank you page. Thank you for your message. I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so it took about um, five minutes to go through, but you can see I am on my Gmail account, McKinsey at unicast.com. And it sent, if we refer back to the code, you can see the subject is contact form and you can see contact form. You can see name is uh, McKinsey. Uh, the email is McKinsey or hey at McKinseyChild.me. And the message is, I really hope this works. Then if we review the from, um, it's from McKinsey and then the email of hey at mckinseychild.me. So uh, we are interpolating uh, the name right here and then the email in the brackets like so. So this is working correctly. Fantastic. So in the next video, we're going to add some authentication to our application so that we are the only ones who are able to create posts.